Good morning, you guys. So, my bruising on my lip is going down, which is fabulous. I also scratched my brand new Rolls Royce yesterday. I'm laughing because, like, okay, this is what happens in my life. Like, I always, always will get a new car. And, like, the day or, like, the day after, like, literally, starting from the day I moved to L.A. with my Volkswagen Beetle that my mom got me, like, literally, it was, like, I had to put, like, $2,000 down. And she had to, it had to be on her credit and stuff when I was, like, 18. Literally two days after I moved to L.A., I got the car. I smashed it myself into a parked vehicle. I was trying to make like a turn like backing out of the and it was in my parking like garage it was in a garage but it was like the parking structure um in my complex and I smashed it against a parked car so then I I mean, I've literally done this with like every car I had a black BMW after that shout out if you remember that car I just thought I was so bougie because I got a car max was like twenty thousand dollars and I I had traded in my Volkswagen Beetle because I paid off the Beetle after like six years or whatever five years and then I had the BMW and I traded it in and I got the, the BMW and like the, that one wasn't my fault. But then like literally as I was driving down to my dad to show him like the very next day, I got a freaking like brick on my windshield, <laughs> like insurance fixed it. It was fine. They had to replace it, which is it's fine. But like even when I got the rolls yesterday, like a lot of times they say like, oh, you have like three days to get insurance. Like they wouldn't let me drive it off unless I got my insurance. So like that's why I had to go back like two separate days because like I just didn't have the insurance yet because I... I was getting the car like late on a, like a Wednesday and then I had to go back Thursday anyways. That's boring. But then after that, I mean, I had the red Mercedes. I don't think anything crazy happened to that one other than I got my purse stolen out of the front because it was a convertible. So I learned my lesson that if you have a convertible, put your purse in the trunk because I literally got my, my purse stolen at a stoplight. Then I had the white Mercedes convertible, which was like a little bit of an upgrade, but I didn't like it as much. and I was kind of over it. So then I got the Jeep wagon shortly after like a few months later. And, um, yeah, I got the G-Wagon and something happened to that. Oh, <laughs> the G-Wagon got dented a lot on the top because um, everyone would always want to sit on it. And like G-Wagons are not meant to be sit on. Even if you're like the lightest person, like I literally had someone like 100 pounds get on top of it and it dents in the middle. So I had like the biggest dent, like literally right when I got the pink put on it. <laughs> oh, well, the pink thing was a disaster onto itself. West Coast Customs said it would take, you know, two months, one month, I think. And it was like 60 days. And then it ended up being like four months till I got my car back. So I didn't even have a car for four months. Um, yeah. And they fucked up my door on that. Oh my god, someone keeps WhatsApping video messaging me. I don't even like WhatsApp. I'm gonna delete it again. Ugh, I got it. Talk to someone and I was like, over oh, it. I'm like, stop, stop it. Because it's like phone calls. It's so annoying. Anyways. So anyways, I don't know what you're saying, but the pink is about the third time I'm saying this. My lamp got stolen, which is like so crazy. So now my new rolls is cool. Like it has the little, like it has like tracker in there. So like they can, like the cops can just tell, like it's like, you know, it's up to date. It's got a concierge in there. It's really cool. I wasn't going to do a car tour because like, you know, I don't know. I just, I always feel kind of like weird about it. I, I don't know. Like it's kind of weird to like, I think I like to flex back when like I spent all my money on something. You know what I mean? Like, like if I bought a Louis Vuitton, like I wanted to show it because like that was basically my monthly like income my income for the month so i was like let me just show this you know um and so yeah but i really like the car i think it's cool i like watching them whose car tour did i watch oh i think i was watching actually jeffrey's pink rolls like the one he got wrapped i think it was a wrath or something it's called and then there's also a guy who reviews the uh rolls colonins colonins i don't even know what it's called <laughs> such an idiot but i don't know it's kind of a cool car it has like cool features so i thought maybe i'd just do like a very like light car tour like nothing so insane um i don't know what do you guys think i just don't want to be like tacky or something because like i'm appreciative and i don't want to like you know what like i am appreciative and like i said i've always said this like i struggled with like money and i've finally been able to like also for all the people saying like why don't you get a house like it's not all the people but there's like, quite a few comments it's like Do you know what I mean? That's a, okay. Obviously that, that was my priority. So it's, it's, that takes a little longer than just getting a car. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, I'm always conflicted because like I, I'm proud and I work hard and, um, I masturbated many hours for that Rolls Royce. But, um, at the same time, like I also do think it's like, like I said, it's, it's like a little much maybe for like the climate. I saw, I think Jacqueline Hill posted her Lamborghini and like, I get it. Like she's proud, but then like, just like 
read the room type of situation. Like it's like people are going through a lot of shit right now, which is why I do my best to, I try and PayPal. I don't have Venmo or Cash App. So I try my best to PayPal like at least once a week to people who message me. So feel free to message me. I don't really check Instagram DMs, like my email, which is like kind of hard to find, but it's somewhere on my old YouTube videos. Um, even my Instagram email is fine. Like I try and help people out like at least once a like week. And again, I feel weird to like say even that. I don't know. I feel like people won't believe me or whatever, but I, I don't know. I always just feel like I need to help people out. And I think like even doing so in private, it just makes like, it makes, it's good for my soul too. It's not like I'm, I mean, I do want to help people because I do feel, I do feel for the situation right now and things happening in the world. But, um, also, like I said, I don't like want to necessarily show it off, but it's also selfish because I do feel better when I help somebody else because I do feel sometimes I'm blessed it's that imposter syndrome where I feel like I don't deserve a lot of things. Is that imposter syndrome? No. I think it's like a thing where I just don't feel deserving of like love or money. I feel like I should be struggling my whole life. You know what I mean? So it's hard for me to accept things. And I also don't like to jinx things. And, you know, things can always be taken away from you in the blink of an eye. And so I've finally been in a position where I can kind of save money, buy a place that I can live, and then also just, you know take care of my family and hopefully take care of you guys and I just realized like all the other stuff like I just I used to buy purses and stuff all the time and like I don't know to me it's like yeah they're nice and you know buying a purse once in a while is nice and stuff like that but even I just kind of get over it you know I think just after some time you're like I don't know it's not really like important to me but anyways I work hard so I can maybe secure now my future because who knows you know, who knows what is going to be in store for me. But having said all that, to say my dumb ass to baby, if anyone ever thinks like, oh, Trisha doesn't deserve all this stuff. Well, guess what? I ruin everything that I get that's nice. <laughs> I literally, so I'll show you guys later in this vlog. But yeah, I like, it seems low, like my Porsche and even my Mercedes AMG, I could push the trunk open and it would, it wouldn't hit my garage. This one, I heard it. It hit the freaking top of my garage. I was like, oh. It's a minor scratch. I'm hoping it can be taken out. Oh my God, I'm just so stupid. Like, I'm so dumb. And then my dad literally texted me this morning because I called him. So I'm FaceTiming everyone once I got the car yesterday. I'm FaceTiming my mom. I'm like so excited about it, right? I FaceTime my dad. And my dad's like, texted me this morning. Hey, did you make it home okay? Which is kind of odd for my dad, to be honest, because like, I always call it, we always see each other. He doesn't really, we just don't do that. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, you just, like, I just assume people make it home. Okay. I mean, it's a nice thing to do, but he never does that. So he's like, Hey, did you make it home? Okay. Yesterday. And this was like eight o'clock this morning. I'm like, yeah, why? Like, I'm like, did someone call him? Like what? And he's just like, Oh, okay. No, good. I just want to make sure you made it home without a scratch on your car. I didn't even tell my dad. I was like, my dumb ass. I'm going to try and go back to the dealership and like, even see if they like I'll pay for it. Like if they can like fix it, I'm sure they can. Right. Cause I was reading stuff online. Like people can like fix it on their own, but I don't want to take it to the back to the place. I kind of want to give it a week or is that bad? Is it, is a scratch like a stain where just like the longer it's in there, like the harder it is to get out. <laughs> um, cause I just don't want to take it back. Like the day after I get it, like, Hey, my dumb ass fucking scratched it. So I got to really remember like when I'm emptying out my trunk, cause it's a big chunk. Like when I'm emptying out, Oh God, I can't even do a car tour. I can do a car tour when I'm emptying out my trunk to, um, to keep it in the driveway. <laughs> that was so dumb. I was so mad at myself. I was so tired when I got it. I was so just like exhausted, like mentally drained. Like everything was so exhausting yesterday. And then not even from the car, just from other things. Obviously the car was fun, but, um, I was like, and I was sweating when I was doing my, oh, and then I was doing the Domino's eating show and I brought my nice camera, which makes me look better, like nicer colors and stuff. And then that decided not to work. So then I had to order, I had to order new cameras. It's just us been, and I did it on my iPhone. And I'm like, this is not how I want to show my first Rolls Royce mukbang. <laughs> but anyways, all right, I'm going to take a shower. This is kind of what I wake up like, just in some undies and t-shirt. I'm going to shower my body. I've been showering every morning. I know. Oh, there's Beetlejuice cast back there. What's up? I have to shower every morning. It's so funny. I never really... I guess because I just didn't really get dressed every day. I would always kind of wear pajamas so I wouldn't like shower. But now that I like get myself dressed and going every day, a shower is a must. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is where the scratch is. It's very minor. It's, oh, well, I like to tell myself it's minor. Oh, that's kind of bad, isn't it? Yikes. It's a, definitely a scratch. I definitely feel it. And this paint is so pretty too. So, yeah. 
already damaged it. Love that for me. Yeah, so basically what happened was I parked it here and yeah, I mean, I'm so stupid. So like this went up and like usually it stops, but I think it hit that silver part right there. So I don't know, this sucks. It just makes me feel like, even though it's like not the worst thing in the world, it's not like it got like super damaged. It just makes me feel like, oh, I have a brand new car and like a brand new car feeling just feels good. And it, it barely fits too, I don't know if you guys can see, but like, I was like looking at the damage, please don't hit it, please don't hit it. You gotta really make sure, I have to really make sure it's in. Cause then up here, it, you know, I guess I could go even a little bit, I need to get those out of here. I guess I could go up a little more, but yeah, I'm wearing my pajamas out to Burger King today. I want to do an eating show at Burger King. Well, technically, no, I don't want to do a Burger King eating show. I want to do a, um, I want to do a Burger King TikTok, like recreating my, huh? What? Yes, TikTok. I don't make any money on TikTok, but yeah, I go out and try and recreate TikToks for, for the fun of it. I got these cute little yellow. Also, my podcast room is becoming a hoarding room, but I'm getting guests soon, so I need to clean this at some point this week too. Lingerie I got from Agent Provocateur. I love lingerie. I was buying lingerie even before I did OnlyFans. I'm obsessed with all their silk stuff. I got silk robes, silk 90s in there. So I wanted to treat myself, but also, you know, work clothes. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to be bringing this with me to do TikToks, photos if I need it. Um, my tray, because I want to put my food on my tray so the grease doesn't get on my seat so I don't fuck my car up even more. Bring my computer because I want to do my TikTok from the computer and then my purse right now um yeah so i came out to the street to do some pictures and videos i think the street david spade lives on because <laughs> he's always showing those people instagramming here because it's like popular for people to do it so i did a quick little car tour did my burger eating show and now i'm going to go home and relax <laughs> so this just got delivered <laughs> um we didn't account for that being there because that's relatively new. Obviously, I can push it more close to the back. I just need either my sister or Moses's or somebody's help to get those through. I don't actually know. I think those are supposed... Oh, okay. I think you've got like unplug and then push it. I don't know. But it's cute. I'm like actually like... Because I'm getting a house like that I'm going to own soon. So I'm like going to be moving soon. And I ordered this so long ago. And it was supposed to be here in February and then the pandemic hit and all that shit. And yeah, so that's what happened there. Um, yeah, this is kind of my day. I, I'm just going to go edit now. And um, yeah, I don't know what to show you in here. I don't think anything that exciting. Um, I think I'm going to have popcorn later. Like I just ate, but I, I've been like really good at like not eating late at night. But maybe around like six or seven, I might have some popcorn. That might be my dinner. Um got this pizza planet i don't know if you make pizzas in here i don't know i thought it was really cute it's from toy story the disney store i got new silverware from bloomingdale's it's very fancy um i'm like buying new stuff for my new house that's sending it's stupid i need to just move um but yeah these are cups i need to wash this one's so cute so i need to wash all these so i can use them i love cups they're my favorite thing in the whole world hydroflask and cups Oh, and this one too. I'm gonna put in that pile because I've been wanting to use this. This is so freaking pretty. It's from Blinked Up. Well, it's from Starbucks, but Blinked Up found it for me. She got it for me. She just thought of you. And it's like one of the prettiest cups I've seen. And you guys know, I've already showed you my Starbucks collection, but let me just show you again. I mean, I have a lot in here, as you can see, like a lot of the ones that are just crystal top. This used to be my favorite. I see that one all the time. There's like a Playboy Bunny one. Um, yeah, I have like a ton of just sparkle cups. Um, is there any down here? No, it's like paperwork, okay. So up here is where most of my Starbucks collection is. Um, these are just mugs mostly, but yeah. Some of these are from like Etsy. Some of them you can tell like the difference between blinging, like a professional blinging company versus like just someone. They're both cool, I both like. I like the effect of both of them. I'm not saying one's better than the other, but there's some of my favorite ones from Starbucks back there. Those sequin ones came out around Christmas time and I was obsessed with them. So you can see I'm very obsessed with um with 
Starbucks. So yeah, I saw some of this butter oil just staying out. I'm like, I haven't had popcorn in so long. So I have, a, I have some popcorn left, which is good. I think I ran out of those round Tostitos. Thank God, I was so addicted to eating chips and cheese. And like, yeah, it's, it's not really good actually. Me just hoping I have it in my fridge. I have to clean out my fridge for sure. There's a lot of things that are definitely um, bad. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna have popcorn um, by, by itself later maybe. Ooh, and I have candies. I love candy and popcorn. It makes me feel like my movies. But yeah, I'm just kind of, um, I'm just gonna go upstairs and edit. Uh, I'm trying to show you what else I can <laughs> see, what else I can show you, because I'm trying to vlog. I'm not really doing that much, so. Um, there's that. I went to Hustler the other day in Hollywood. Um, I love these shoes so much. I wear them today. They're so, so cute. Like anything, all the fluffy slides from Uggs are kind of, are kind of where it's at. So yeah, I gotta clean my podcast room. But I'll just go ahead and show you guys some stuff because I kind of want to make this like a vlog onto itself. Um, <laughs> I look like the guy from Hocus Pocus, the zombie, the dead guy. So I got some slides. I actually don't even know if they fit. I just assume like when it comes to my feet, I'm a small. Everything else, I'm like an extra large. Which is not a good proportion, but I think they'll fit. Let's see. Yeah, I needed some slides. Oh yeah, they're like actually kind of big even. Those are so cute though. Comfy. I, they just looked really comfortable and I was like, yeah, I need those. I'm all about comfort, you know. If I'm not naked, I want to be comfortable. <laughs> um, I got another one of those oversized hoodies. Like you guys, I'm like see me wear the gray one all the time. So I just went ahead and got another oversized hoodie, which I don't want it to get dirty, but it's kind of like it just says hustler on it. It's just like the gray one, and I get it in um a double XL, so it hangs off of me, so it feels cozy like a blanket. I picked up some anal bleach to go in case, like I don't know. I'm gonna just put it in my suitcase like when I need to, when I need to turn it on. It's so loud. Um, I got some sandals that say Hustler. Again, I just got these in small. But yeah, the Hustler store in Hollywood is still open. Um, I just went ahead and got those. I got some lingerie pieces. Uh, mostly they're all the same, like bodysuit thing, which are really, really cute, so. I have so much lingerie, but it's like kind of my addiction. It's, it's been my addiction even before OnlyFans, and I just, I really, really like it. I got some tissues, some intimate tissues. Wet wipes, baby wipes, all that stuff works great. I just saw these, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna throw these in my purse too. You just never know, like lube, yourself, other people, you just wanna clean up. And then batteries, I like always, always need batteries. There's my sex toys, more anal bleach. <laughs> I don't know, they just threw all my you know, bleaches right here. And then uh, I did get some like more like there's like neon. You see, yeah, okay. Um, I only, and then I got a massager. Like obviously, I love my Adam and Eve ones. So, and, like, and a lot of these are sold on Adam and Eve. Like this this brand is sold on Adam and Eve. I love it. So they just have different stuff. And so I just picked it up, and that's pretty much it. I got more batteries in here, and that's all we did. So. That's basically my little stuff. Um, I replanned my trip for Vegas. It looks so crazy. Um, like in a couple weeks, so I can feel more prepared. Like I want to like stock up some um, podcast stuff, but also I want to film podcasts there. So I'm just trying to fill up, fill, figure out the logistics of all that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if what's gonna happen, but we'll see. You guys, it's a depressing time right now online. Um, I kind of talked about this when I was doing my makeup this morning, but it's like, I feel almost like I shouldn't be posting. I feel almost weird. It's like not fun anymore. Cause especially with Jenna Marbles leaving, like it's just no longer like a community and it's really not, I don't feel because of other creators. I feel like it's really, I don't know. I don't know if it's like the people are just getting fed up with influencers or they're just sick of them I, I don't know the answer um and it feels sad it feels like the morale's down every single person that's my friend personally just feels uninspired sad like underappreciated like all this stuff Jenna of all people I mean she obviously felt like she needed to go away that she wasn't helping anymore and she wasn't making people happy and that's like really sad because like so many people are like oh she's like the one person I look forward to every week 
So it's kind of like a weird time right now. And I almost, like I said, I almost feel guilty for like making videos and vlogs. I really like, like YouTube is like, YouTube is like my constant. YouTube is my stability. YouTube is my, and just my normality. Like it just makes me feel like I'm doing something and I feel productive and I feel like I'm connecting to humans in the world and we all need that connection. Um, I don't know. I just like, I don't know. I just feel kind of like, I wish I could be more excited about things, you know? Um, I think it's also just the state of the world we're in. I think everyone's just feeling a lot of, um, this darkness and heaviness and it sucks. And I don't know, hopefully we'll all get out and there'll be stuff to look forward to. But like, I think that's the other thing. There's like nothing much to look forward to. Like all concerts got postponed. Like everything got postponed. So like us as a world is like standstill right now. The one thing I can say that's kind of keeping me going is finding comfort and finding solace in the little things, okay? So, I mean, I bring cars a huge thing, but like, okay, there's people around that love me, like being with my friends, being with, um, being happy with myself, finding things that make me happy, um, like new ventures, you know? Um, just trying to find comfort in little things, bake cooking. Like I'm like, oh, when I make a meal, I feel very productive. I feel like it takes a good time time of my day to just focus on that and you can't really focus on anything else because you're focused on the ingredients and the recipe i don't know just try and find something tiktok for me too is also something that i find comfort in and same thing with youtube like i don't really make money anymore on youtube and but i find comfort in it still same thing with tiktok there's some lightness and happiness and i don't know comfortability i guess so i hope it's okay that i'm still making videos i hope i'm not projecting sadness onto you guys like I'm just trying to um, keep everyone happy. Although everyone's been asking about that pill one on Instagram. I don't know if I said it on here yet, but it's from Jonathan Napa. Just FYI.